there's a brand new Fire Stick 4K Max out and we're going to talk about is it worth getting or is it worth just tossing away. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and today we're going to be talking about the brand new 4K Max. Now, before you guys click away, I'm going to tell you that I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not here to push this Fire Stick on you uh, like other videos are doing on YouTube right now. No, 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 no. I'm going to keep it real for you guys tell you the things that you get and don't get with it T tell you the things that they advertise but you're really not going to get in your home if you don't have other devices compatible to it we're going to start off with the remote controls and the comparisons between the 4k and the 4k max and this is for you guys that already have a 4k we're also going to talk about those of you that don't have any fire sticks or those of you that have the standard definition fire stick okay simple as it can be we're going to start off with the remote controls and i'm going to put a picture of the standard remote control the, f the new Max right here in the middle and then we're going to put the one for the 4K Fire Stick. Now, let's talk first about the standard definition Fire Stick remote that you don't see very much of them these days unless you bought that Fire Stick when it first came out. Um, you have no volume control, no mute button and no power button. What that means to you guys is, or for those of you that still have it, um, is that if you wanted to raise the volume, mute the TV, or turn on and off the TV, you would need the TV remote, and then to work the Fire Stick, you need the Fire Stick remote. So you had two remotes to go back and forth with in order to do whatever you wanted to get done. Then, in 2018, the 4K Fire Stick came out, and they upgraded their remote control, which was one of the best features that they had at that time, considering what we had before. But now they imp integrated the power button, the mute button, and the volume control button, and that remote is so easy to program to your television and it made just things a lot easier because now you can put your TV remote and throw it in a drawer somewhere and don't you know forget that you even have it because everything is through the Fire Stick remote. That was a great feature. That was worth upgrading from the standard definition to the 4K Fire Stick even if you did not have a 4K TV, which is another thing I want to mention. A lot of people will ask, Dan, I don't have a 4K TV. Why do I need a 4K Fire Stick? Well, in this case, it was just an extra feature to have you were really upgrading or purchasing the 4k because it's a better fire stick overall okay so if in the future you upgrade to a 4k television great now you have the fire stick to go along with it um that was the main reason now for those of you that have a 4k fire stick now and now are thinking about upgrading to the 4k max it may not be the best thing to do even if it's just a five dollar difference because the 4K is retail at 50, the 4K Max is retail at 55. If you're doing an upgrade from this Fire Stick to this Fire Stick, I personally will tell you it's not worth the upgrade. Okay, and let me tell you the reasons why. Okay, uh, some of you may still feel that it's good depending on your household, but the majority of you I think will agree with me on this. You can leave it in the comments below, but I, st I, I still want to hear whether you think it's a good upgrade or not a good upgrade but i think most of you will agree with it for these reasons let's start off um with the remote control as you guys will know the new remote control as you can see on this picture again has the new integrated buttons when it comes to netflix disney plus hulu and prime video which is great if you are don't want to take the two extra steps to look for the netflix app and click on it to go to go to the netflix app if you don't want to, you know, organize your applications on your Fire Stick and keep keep Hulu and Netflix and everything on your home screen, so every they're just right there every time, and all you have to do is click. It. If you don't want to do that and you want the community just clicking a button and going into it, then great. Is it the feature to upgrade the Fire Stick for? I personally don't think it is. I I mean, you might feel different, but I don't think it's worth you going from a 4K Fire Stick to a 4k max simply because of the remote control and the new buttons that it has again i'm trying to save you money guys here i'm not trying to push anything on you just because it's a new toy even though my wife tells me that i get every new toy out there but seven out of ten times i'm always returning the new toy because i find out it's not really what i expected it's, it doesn't meet my expectations the way that i thought it would okay so moving on we're going to talk really quick really quick about the gpu and CPU now again I promise you I wasn't gonna get all technical and I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible so I'm just gonna briefly go over stuff for those of you that are very technical 
and want to see a more in-depth difference between the 4k and the max i am going to leave a great article on the description of this video you can just click on that link it'll take you right there it's a great read for those of you who want to more, know more specifics about the difference between these this uh, fire sticks. But CPU and GPU, long story short, it's a little bit faster. Um, that All that really matters to you is the fact that when you click on a, a specific application, it'll open up about 15% faster than the other one. Um, if you already have the 4K, are you going to notice that difference that much? A hair. Honestly, 15% is not that much when you're clicking on Netflix or something and it just pops up faster, 15% faster than the other one. Is it worth the, the upgrade? Uh, no, I'm not going to say it's worth the upgrade for that. Um, the RAM is a little bit faster. It goes, goes in conjunction with the CPU and everything. So the application maneuvers through the interface and the home screen and everything a little, slightly a little bit faster, but not much of a difference when it comes to the 4K and the 4K Max. So that's not a big deal. However, we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi system that the new Fire Stick has, which no other Fire TV or Fire Stick device currently has. And this is called the Wi-Fi 6. Now, for those of you that I just blew their mind because what the heck is Wi-Fi 6? Well, right now we're running on Wi-Fi 5. And to simplify it, think of it as 4G versus the new 5G. How everything's are getting faster with the new 5G. This Fire Stick Max is the only Fire TV device that now has the new Wi-Fi 6 system integrated into them. Now, is that worth making the upgrade to the Wi-Fi 6? It would be if it weren't for two major factors. And here's what they are. Number one, you need a Wi-Fi 6 compatible router to work with the Wi-Fi 6 feature on this, on this device. Best comparison? is which it doesn't really apply because of what i said before but you buying a 4k fire stick when you have a standard definition television you have the feature there but it's not going to work because your television is not 4k okay same thing you have a wi-fi 6 device but you don't have a wi-fi 6 router and you may ask yourself, well, how do I know that my cable company didn't give me a Wi-Fi 6 router? I can tell you, as of October 15, 2021, that's not something that is standard with the uh, cable companies. AT&T, Spectrum, Google Fiber, there's not Wi-Fi 6. They're all Wi-Fi 5. Okay, so now you can get your own router that may be compatible with Wi-Fi 6, which you're a step ahead of the game, which is good, but we still have the other major factor, the the main reason why people have Fire 6 is for streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Prime, and other streaming services out there. Well, the majority, and when I mean the majority, I mean more than 90% of the streaming services out there are capped out at less than Wi-Fi 5 speeds, let alone getting all the way to Wi-Fi 6. So even though you have all these things, best comparison for that that comes to mind is when the Blu-ray first came out, but there wasn't really a lot of Blu-ray movies available for it. But it was the newest toy. You know, the, the, all we had was DVDs. Well, this is kind of the same concept. We have a Wi-Fi 6 system, but the streaming service are not producing Wi-Fi 6 speeds. So therefore, you have something that will work and benefit you in the long run in the future. But as of right now, it's not the major game changer that you should be running to the store or running to your phone and ordering one of these from Amazon because of the Wi-Fi 6, even if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router. I hope that all this is making sense to you guys. I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. For those of you that are techie guys, don't hate me. I can talk tech lingo, but I'm choosing not to because I want the majority of my audience to understand where I'm coming from. Okay, and you guys are super smart, so you guys can read the forum or the, the article that I left on, on the description and get all your answers from there. Okay, so now that I said that, the Wi-Fi 6 and everything, and again, the Wi-Fi 6 main thing that is going to help you with on your Fire Stick, you know, if, if, if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router, it's gonna be more of the range of it, and it's gonna be more of the interruptions that happen within your home. Some of you may have a lot of mirrors or glass and everything around between the, the, the router and between your fire stick or the distance of the router and the fire stick is really far or your mesh system is not quite doing the job that it can. If it's Wi-Fi 6, that helps with those interruptions. Therefore, you're going to have a lot less 
buffering issues okay but at that point you know restarting your modem and router and restarting your fire stick usually takes care of that for a little while but if you want to do a lot less of restarting stuff then having a Wi-Fi 6 router and a Wi-Fi 6 compatible fire stick will help a lot with that problem plus it'll go a little further so you know if you have something in have a fire stick out in the patio somewhere and you know and, and you're watching TV out there and there's a distance between your patio fire stick and your router inside the house the Wi-Fi 6 system will help because it'll give you a longer range and a better connection while it's connected to that so if that's an issue for you guys then you can definitely upgrade to the 4k max biggest thing is here's my personal opinion if you already have one of these and again, after I mention everything I just mentioned, is it worth jumping to one of these? I'm not even going to do that myself. I have one. Simply it's going to be for troubleshooting and everything. But me to move all eight or nine fire sticks that I have in my house over to this one simply because it's the newest thing out there? No. Eventually, maybe in a year or two years, depending on how the Wi-Fi 6 thing is doing um, and how the streaming services, if they're converting over to Wi-Fi 6, then maybe it means something that I consider upgrading my 4k fire sticks to this but i'm thinking maybe two years before i even consider that to be honest with you um now if you have a standard definition fire stick let me see if i still have a box of one of those standard definition fire sticks. i have one around somewhere but anyway if you have the standard one the one that you have this box actually here's the picture right here if you have one of these fire sticks and you're going to be upgrading to a brand new 4k fire stick then at that point i will tell you if you don't mind the extra five dollars because the new 4k max is 55 versus the 50 that the 4k is then i will tell you definitely go for the max if you're just gonna because that's the fire stick that i will tell you definitely upgrade that a fire stick has problems that's the fire stick i'm gonna tell you to stay away from so if you have it and it's working for you and it's doing the job great but if you want a way better experience a faster interface everything working a lot faster including buffering issues and everything you definitely want to jump over to a 4k fire stick and if you're already making that jump spending the extra five bucks to getting the latest thing it's it's a great thing to do i re definitely recommend it if you're on a budget spending 50 bucks and just getting the regular 4k fire stick is just as good you're just getting a little bit better with the max than you are with the regular 4k if you're doing an upgrade like that um, if you have no fire stick whatsoever and you're looking to purchase a brand new fire stick um, and you're gonna do it anyway then yeah I recommend getting the 4k max for the extra five bucks it's just five bucks we're not talking 25 30 dollars it's just a five bucks difference to 55 dollars you might as well get the latest stuff even if you don't have a Wi-Fi 6 router and everything this will still work beautiful with what you have at home okay it's just ready and available for any upgrades that happen in the future you have the compatible fire stick to go with it so absolutely get it if you're if you're getting a fire stick for the first time um so stay away from the standard definition definitely definitely stay away from the fire stick light that was also released i think last year um no guys i think it's like 30 or 35 dollars you get what you pay for on that one okay don't don't do it okay don't do it it's a little no it's trust me on this i am the fire stick man for a reason trust me stay away from the standard definition and stay away from the fire stick light okay stay away from these two it doesn't matter if you have a standard definition fire stick you can put a 4k fire stick to it and it's going to work wonders on yours it's not you know you're not going to get 4k you know picture because your tv is not 4k but it's all the other features that you're going to benefit from until you upgrade your television in the future to a 4k that you'll benefit from the 4k and still you have to be watching 4k content to really get 4k picture so there's a lot of factors with these features that go along okay i hope all this stuff has made sense to you guys um the last thing i want to mention is i want to talk to you about the cube because a lot of people ask me about the cube too the cube is an overpriced device the only benefit other than the fact yes it's a little faster has more memory more ram the gpu is a little faster yes all those things are great um it, would it make a huge dramatic difference between the 4k and the cube no but those those features are great on the cube the biggest feature that the cube has over the other ones is the hands-free voice command where you can tell the cube 
to go to Netflix and to find this show and to find that show rather than taking the 4K remote and hitting that button. Now you can just speak into the air and it'll do it for you. That's priced somewhere around $100, $120 for the Q. To be honest with you guys, is it worth the money? I don't think so at all. If you have it, great. Also, it does not have Wi-Fi 6. So if you're thinking about purchasing it, you're getting, you're getting more out of this 4K Max than you go with that. And you say, Dan, I want to just say things out loud. I don't want to look for my remote. You can still achieve the same goal with one of these or with one of these if you add yourself an Echo. And this is what the Echo is right here. The Echo is about 35 bucks, 40 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So getting a, a Max for 55, getting an Echo for 40, you're still under $100. And it'll do the same thing because they can they work together. So all you have to do is say what you want and it'll sink into your fire stick. It'll look for the show. It'll go into the, the application that, that you want. Look for the movie that you want. It'll do the same thing. As a matter of fact, you get more for your buck because the Echo devices do way more than just control your fire stick. So there's that. So as a money saver myself i will say i will say don't buy the cube it's not worth it if you want something with those capabilities buy yourself a 4k and buy yourself an echo i hope that you have found this video to be helpful if you did please like this video subscribe to my channel and ring that bell notification so you get notified every single time that i post a new video your support is greatly appreciated you have been watching dfm tv i am dan the fire stick man your source for entertainment until the next video, happy streaming.